Guys, back again today with Marie. We're gonna go over a, another form of dry needling that I like to use within the clinic. Now this is uh, probably one of the more common ways I use dry needling. Um, last time I showed you guys how to, I mean how I would use the needle for more getting a twitch response. But um, the, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna get some needles in, we're going to attach them to e-stim. And this is more so what I'll use for people who are coming in with higher levels of pain. So the e-stim has been shown to um, basically reset the neuromuscular system. So if, if we can get the e-stim on there, connected to the needles, it's going to, instead of sending a signal up to the brain that says pain, 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 it's going to basically counteract that signal and you're gonna be feeling vibration, 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 and it's gonna block the pain signal. So it's not going to fix anything per se, but it will reduce the uh, patient client's pain as they're, um, as they're getting the needling and then after the fact as a way to um, kind of reset everything and get back to being able to move into movement patterns that might have been painful before. So today we're gonna to do this on Marie's quad. And on this one, unlike the last time, sometimes I will look for the um, you know, trigger points and try to hit a trigger point to get a twitch response before we go. And sometimes if I know exactly like which muscle I want to work on for the day, got one without even trying there. Yep. We'll just get the needle in. Anything referring down? No. No, just the twitch. Nice little jump. Nice little jump. Almost got one. Would have been good for the camera. Uh -huh. And then this is something that I'm also using quite often for. Really? <laughs> this is also something I'm using quite often for recovery with patients as well. So if you are post 5K, post 10K, half marathon, marathon, something along those lines, and you are really sore, I'm gonna use the same general setting here to get the muscle pumping and basically it's gonna reduce your uh, delayed onset muscle soreness, give you a little bit less soreness post uh, hard workout. So now we got that on and I like to use a 310 alternating frequency here or intensity. So we'll turn this on and we'll say to, wait to see if we can start to get that jump, which we can start to see it there. How strong is that? Mm -hmm. Usually we like to go for a moderate to strong, but comfortable. So if it starts to get uncomfortable, we'll turn it down. It shouldn't be painful as we're doing it, but it should definitely feel going. it. So we got a nice little jump there. And usually we're gonna alternate between this and then we're gonna get a faster jumping. So usually I'll leave it there for about a minute, but just for sake of the video, we'll turn this up to make it go a little bit quicker. A little bit of a faster twitch and back down and that alternating currents what's going to help you kind of get that reset of the um, of kind of the pain and the pain signal going up to the brain so um, if you have any questions please feel free to comment below thanks